G'day dear friends, welcome to Xrisa. My name is Chrissy. How are you all? Uh, okay, now I just wanted um, just a break from pastels this week and um, I have bought some dot cards and the dot cards that I've bought, um, I've bought two. I've bought one is the uh, Schmincke Horadam, Schmincke Horadam Aquarelle and the other one is the Schmincke uh, Horadam Super Granulation. Okay, so I just thought, well, you know what, I really need, I've been looking at these for a very long time and I thought I really would like to purchase them, but they're really expensive. Look, they really are, but you know, you know, you pay what, you, you know, you get what you pay for. So let's just put it down that way. But first of all, I just wanted to say hello to our friends. Hi, Shandri. Hi, Helen. I know, I know, I know you're not going to buy these paints, but, um, you know, and I know you, you, you mentioned to me and I go, well, these are German. I thought that, you know, you would be getting these, you know, cheap in your country. Obviously you said to me, no. So, um, okay, Shandri, you don't like granulation. That's all right. There's also the other lot. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. And, uh, you're not buying it either, Cherry. That's all right. Uh, but, uh, let me see, uh, who likes granulation though? Um, uh, but you do, oh, okay, Helen, but you do like granulating colors. All right. So let's just get on with it. Uh, okay. First of all, uh, Schmincke have what's available. And I know that Daniel Smith have got this and I know that, uh, and I've seen the Windsor Newton, they have these dot cards, which I think are really lovely. Um, there's a nice sheet in between. So nothing sticks. Um, which I think is a really good way to go for those who want to select uh, a palette. I, I think for someone like me who's not a watercolorist or not a watercolor artist per se, uh, something like this is really good for me and where I can decide which, you know, when I'm putting together a palette, right which colors would I go with and the reason why I like these dot cards and I know all the other ones do it too is they tell you the the there's a lot of information which is what we all want very good for the consumer okay so this is the 140 but today let me just put that away but today we are going to be looking at the granulation now Schmincke have also made a a 40 um, a a super granulation a uh, lot of colors and they've divided them into uh, let me get this bit of it's not really paper it's a plastic this one uh, what they've done is they've broken it up into uh, groups um, look I don't know how you would call it but they're just series there's what's called the volcano and there's five in each of these there's the galaxy there's the deep sea, there's the shire. I suppose that would be for people that like, uh, you know, a lot of um, uh, green foliage. I mean, I only suspect because again, I, I'm, I'm not 100% on, you know, watercolor and I'm, I don't profess to, but what I do, what I do know is that I like what I see and what I feel. So, and that's with all mediums, I suppose. Now, the other one here is desert, tundra. I'm not sure what tundra is, but anyway, there's glacier and then there's forest. So let's go. Uh, what I'll do is, um, hmm, maybe that's a good idea. Um, I'll just put, I'll just put certain things aside so, to give myself some room. Uh, I've got plenty of water. Now, the paper that I'm going to be using is paper by uh, Claire Fontaine, my favorite paper people. Oh my gosh, my favorite, favorite paper people. Uh, and these are sample cards. So, and uh, what I will be doing is using um, a very heavy paper, 640 GSM, and I've broken it in the groups. So we're going to start off with uh, Vulcan or Volcano. Now, just to let you know, 
this is 100% cotton, acid-free. The extra, uh, the extra heavy has been. What did it say? It said extra heavy paper will extend drying time. Uh, they've treated it with just a little bit more of something. Yeah. Anyway, so these are all sample. These are sample cards, so it's not the actual paper per se. So let's go. Ooh, let me just say. Um, okay, I love the botanical. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm ignorant and don't understand why you use the granulation paints. Okay. Uh, well, there you go. Um, I I am a amber. So get a nice disc. Okay, a member. So get a nice. Okay, I, I am a member. That is. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, I'm going to fold this backwards. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I'm going to put it on this paper here. All right. Uh, I've got my water here. Let's go, baby, go. Just See, I just want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. That's the only reason why I had to fold that one backwards. Now I understand that um, for for granulation to work effectively you really need to wet your paper so you could actually see uh, so you can see the action so to speak. Um, so let's first colour up <clears throat> and what's really good about these dock cards, I'll talk while I do this, okay? Um, uh, this is a Vulcan Yellow 911, and uh, oh, okay, I'm just trying to get the pigment off. While I'm doing that, really, could it be my brush? It could be very well be my brush. Okay, uh, Okay. this is Vulcan 911. What's really good is that it gives you the little symbols and there's a little legend down... Oh, hang on. You can't see that bit. That's better. There's a little legend down the bottom here. No, I haven't got enough pigment on here. Maybe it's my brush. Could be my brush. Let's go... Could be my brush, so hang on a sec. Most definitely probably be my brush. Let's just put that aside for the moment. Okay, get a smaller brush. <laughs> yes, I know I do, I have. Okay, maybe even smaller. Okay, let's go the smaller brush. I've even got a smaller one, so don't, here. Yeah. That might work. Hey Janice, hello, sorry. Uh, who was Nanette, hello. Um Dreamweaver. Oh, I know who you are. It's Michelle. It's Michelle, isn't it? It's Michelle. Dreamweaver is Michelle, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Say yes if it is. Um I find swatching to be boring. Oh, okay. So I might act up a bit just so Chrissy. You've been warned. Yes, I have been warned. Oh, come on. This is... Maybe I'll put too much. Okay, I'm going to come back to the Vulcan Yellow. It's not picking up. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> All right, so... Okay, nothing much happening here. But... That's me. It's me. It's not. It's not. It's not Schminker. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. I'm going to leave that one alone for a minute, and I'm gonna go to. Um, maybe they need to wet. Come on, let me come on. Let me get some pigment. 
you know what I'll do? I'll wet these. That's what I'll do. It's definitely me, it's not them. Oh my gosh, it's granulating on the on the dot card. Okay. Oh, why isn't this working for me? Okay, I need to Oh, oh, okay, it's working. Put a drop of water on every... Yeah, I did. There we go. Yep, yeah, my name is Michelle. Made this account when I was videoing my dogs. Okay. This brush. It's the brush. Oh, it's the brush. It's, it's not good. Smaller brush is not doing it either for me. I can't get enough pigment on here. very vibrant is it no it's 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 definitely me I know it's definitely me okay this is not working out like I wanted to I wanted it to be like a first impression Okay, I'm going to have to revisit Vulcan. I'm not sure about Vulcan. Okay. Um, uh, you are asking, Cherry, you were asking about what is the big deal about granulation. Uh, I suppose, look, for all of the watercolour uh, artists out there, you probably best describe what that means. But for me, it's being able to get lovely textures. Uh, um, okay, w w this is, yeah, it's not doing, it's not doing. Did I get that right? Yeah, I did. That's a bit of, oh, well, we know it lifts. Okay. Not sure. Okay, this is the Vulcan Violet that I'm just about to use. One, two, three, four. Come on. I've got water on my brush, so that's why it's not very bright at the moment. I'm not doing this paint justice. I know it's not. I know it's not the paint, I know it's me. Can't get this flaming thing off. Granulation is a pigment splitting when applied to wet paper, much like brush show only these are watercolours. Okay, well, I'm going to have to um, come back to this. Vulcan Brown. have to wait till it dries and reapply okay your paper is not wet enough oh look I know okay all right I've saturated it there we go let me just go back to these going to work hopefully. <laughs> Must be frustrating for all of those watercolour artists just watching me do this. But I have soaked it. Actually the, the dot cards are actually much better than what I'm doing here. I'm probably better off doing that. But I wanted to swatch them on paper. Oh, look what's happening on the dot card. <laughs> it, 
It's really nice. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, many factors here. Okay. They are really big swatches. They must want you to use up all the dots fast and go buy all the tubes. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Yeah, it's, yeah. I almost feel like I want to swatch on there rather than on there. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's just leave that. This is the volcano. Let's just leave that for the time being. And I almost feel like I should be um, swatching on here rather than on there but anyway the granulation is working beautifully on the actual dot card um. Okay, that was Galaxy Pink, which is absolutely gorgeous. Well, no, it's uh, it's early in the live stream, but so far I'm not inclined to go buy those paints. Yeah, I know. Well, I haven't done it justice, have I? Uh, but it's actually working on the on the dot. Look at this; it's actually working on here. If that's not going to influence you. It's better on here than it is um, on the paper. Look, I have put water on here. I think maybe it's because it's 640 GSM. Um, but the granulation on here is really nice. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I just not sure why there's probably many factors for granulation paint to work you should use it on cold press cotton paper uh, and not this surface this is cotton but you want this is cold press but it's a six six hundred and forty GSM it's 300 pound it's actually quite heavy and should sustain quite oh look at the oh oh look it is working it is working wait till it dries oh wow okay i got it okay i got it it's a combination it's a combination of this paper being heavy um but it shouldn't it, there should be no problem you know wow okay okay i'm gonna miss this one and i'll go straight to this one color Galaxy Brown. I'm going to put a few layers on this. Chrissy, I think Schminka should send you the whole tube of paint. A dot is not enough. <laughs> I know. Look. Yes, I get it. Oh, definitely. Um, dot is not, but it should give us enough of a um, an idea as to. I'm just trying to use my brush and pick up all of the water that's around this dot. This is galaxy blue. I'm going to go back onto those colors, by the way. I'm just letting it dry a little bit more. And this is Galaxy Black. Ooh, I wonder what... Oh. Okay. Okay. Look what's been happening on here while it's sort of settling after the dot. Could be the dot. 
because Schmincke are probably one of my favorite watercolor paints they're just like the Rolls-Royce I think of I mean there's Sennelier they're beautiful oh look look you know what there's a lot of really nice water uh, brands of watercolor even ones that aren't well known um, okay let's just leave this to dry for the moment And I'll see what the results are okay so hang on a sec let's just put let's just put those aside okay the next one is deep sea so okay Chrissy read the comments okay all right let me read the comments okay why is there not much pigment in them I'm not sure they're very highly pigmented so I'm not sure Okay, uh, Chrissy, uh, how, oh, let me just go back up. Hi, Debbie, hello, hello. Have you used, okay, let me go back right up. <laughs> uh, have you used watercolor blend, have you used a watercolor blending medium? Oh no, that's not for me. I get, you need to drop onto wet, yep. Do not spread it so much on the swatch paper. Okay. Um, granula, uh, granulating is pigment splitting. Yep. Okay. Right. I got that. Yes. Wet into wet. Is that cold press? Yes, it is cold press. Um, your paper is not wet enough. Okay. I got that. How do you use your gum Arabic? Add it to your water or your palette. How do you use your gum Arabic? Um, Avigail is probably the best one to use to tell you about the mediums. Um, the, granulate, the granulating happens better on the dot card. Yes, I can see that. Um, I added it onto my palette, diluted with water, and it add, and adds it to my paint. Okay. Um, Chrissy, are you spreading it with your brush on the swatch? You are spreading it? Yes. Just don't drop it in and tilt the swatch. Okay. Uh, you need a harder, smaller brush. I do have a harder, smaller brush. It's That is harder. This is a Princeton watercolour. It is, and it's not working. Okay. It's working really nicely on the dot card. Better on... Um... Oh, hang on. This is a, a watercolour brush, but it's more, um, oh, okay, it's working better. Deep Sea Violet. Okay, well, I know it's, okay, okay. Why is there not much pigment in them? I'm not sure. Well, it says that it is. I've got the, um... I wonder if it's the paper. Don't know. I think it's working better now. These have to be really wet. It's it's because it's dot. This is deep sea indigo. Okay. Chrissy, I think Schmincke, oh yeah, we've got that. This brush is for a big wash. You need a smaller brush and harder. Well, yeah, this one is it, I think. Well, I did say I wasn't a watercolor artist. She's not getting the granulation part. She should let the water do the work, not the brush. Well, yes. That's right, Helen. Here we go. You are trying to make a solid swatch. 
not going to happen with these paints okay yeah well I want to show the color and I want to show what happens which is happening with this I think they needed to be really wet like on here I needed to get the paint off and it's when it dries that is beautiful there you go oh um, Michelle you're quite welcome you're welcome I feature I, I feature all our members um, their, their work as soon as they yep yeah, I try well I try anyway I try um, but you're welcome okay make a, a pool of water on the swatch then drop pigment into the water uh, then pick up another card and drop another color next to the first color uh, then they should spread and make the blue. Oh, yes. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's what's happening on here. Okay, this is deep sea green. Tells me that it's uh, semi-transparent. And that it is uh, not, sta um, not staining. I think it's not staining. Here we go. I'm just trying to get enough pigment on the brush to do what I have to do here. Okay. I'm getting better results. I'm get, it's all right. I'm getting there. Don't slam me. <laughs> Don't. Chrissy, we believe in you. Just relax and have fun. Though it is not easy when everyone's yelling instructions on you. <laughs> she can't hear us. <laughs> it's all right. You know what? I still love you all. Okay, I still love you all. Um, I didn't say I was going to do a watercolour masterpiece, did I? I said I was going to swatch. Ooh, look at that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do some more, more spraying here so they're ready for me. Oh my gosh, these colours are doing beautiful things on the dot card. I swear, look, they're just doing gorgeous things there. Yeah. To be honest, I don't mind what these watercolour paints do. I love that, I love it when there are colours coming through that you don't expect. I love the surprise. Um... Truly, I love the surprise. I love that you could do texture with just a brush stroke, that you don't have to do too much to it. Now, remembering, it's watercolour for me, okay? I'm a pastel artist. <laughs> Not a watercolour artist, but I love it. What can I say? I love what it does. Now, I'm going to let that dry, but look what's happening at the moment. Yeah, that way. So... Let this dry, and I'm going to come back to good old volcano and see what the thing is. It was definitely, me. it's definitely me, not the paints, but um, uh, yes, definitely. All right, next one up, we have the Shire. This is the Shire. Okay, here we go. Okay, isn't it about time you did a gouache live stream? Oh, yes, it is. Lucky you you said that, Nanette. I am um, I'm going to be doing on Patreon. I'm going to be doing a gouache project next, but so but you know as a patron you'll get to see that. Um, <laughs> um, but yes, that is our next project. Uh, uh, yes, we want to. Okay, all right. I'll also do a gouache project here on on the live stream here at YouTube. Oh my gosh, what have I done? I just want to put more water. Oh, more water. Ugh. Yeah, the pigment's not coming off the dot. I think this is my problem. I'm just trying to get enough pigment on my brush so I can put it on here. And I think it's the yellow. Anyway, this reminds me of a green gold, although they call it Shire Green. Not enough water. 
There we go. All right, for all of those screaming through, not enough water. Yes, I want to gouache live. Okay, I'll be doing one. Should I do one next? I'll do one next week. But definitely doing a Patreon one. We have a, a cute little dragon that we've been doing on uh, uh, Patreon. Which... There's not enough pigment on here for me to do this. I'm just going to have to trust the... I'm sorry, I, I can't get enough on here. I can't get enough of the pigment on here. But look what's happening here. Oh, jeez, that's so nice. So obviously, yes, Abigail, they're making me go out to buy the tube. Uh, leave that alone there. I'm leaving that colour alone there. Because nothing much is happening I hear at the moment. Only because I don't have enough pigment and enough paint to put on here. Shire. This is Shire Olive. Okay. All right. So Hmm. I can't get enough of this. I can't get enough of the um But look what's happening. As I'm as we're painting What are your favorites? I actually like these colors. I like the violet. This deep sea violet is something which I really, really like. Okay. Okay, with okay. With all the struggle you have on live stream trying to promote Shamika, I think they should gift you the chips. Uh, look. To be honest, I hope they're not watching. Why would they wouldn't even be watching me? They wouldn't even know who I am. I'm just like a little speck. So it's probably good because I want to do do their paints justice, and I don't think I'm doing their paints justice. <laughs> All right. What can I say? And this is a this is a watercolor brush. It's quite um, hard. Okay, I've received my watercolor, uh, my oh, Windsor and Newton gouache paints. Just looked at the box so far. <laughs> Open the ruddy thing. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. Open a cherry. Oh, this is nice. Shire green. Can you see that they're... The stars are, um, are indicating the light fastness. The square is indicating whether it's transparent, semi-transparent, opaque. The triangle here is uh, indicating the staining. Uh, and apparently this is staining. Okay. Not much is happening on here. Why isn't it happening? I have got water. Before you all scream at me saying there's not enough water, I have. I have got water. Okay. I know you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. Oh, this is lovely. You have to wait till it dries, though. You have to wait till it dries. They're doing some really nice things drying now.
This is what's happening to the deep sea. So far, so it's it drying. So maybe it's in the drying. I'm trying to get the pigment off. Okay, I'm drawing while watching. Have to work tomorrow and I'm in a drawing mood. Oh, okay. And you're instructing me, Helen. I'm glad <laughs> you're instructing me. Okay, all right. So. Okay, this is Shire. Okay, now, remember. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's just put that aside. Let's just put this aside and let me open this dot card out. There we go. Okay, I've sprayed my water, my my surface as well, so that should keep you all happy for a little bit. <laughs> the colour on the dot card, the bottom line, third from the left, yes, absolutely, and I'll show you at the end. Oh, third from the left, yep. Yeah. I'm going uh, third from oh that's sorry it's the Shire Green you're talking about yes yep um, maybe I should just spray these and just watch it watch it happen maybe I think that's what you mean a drop we said <laughs> more water <laughs> oh jeez I know it's all right Shandri. Okay. But a drop is not working. It's not it's not working. Do I have to completely saturate it? I'm not sure. Okay, I have a Daniel Smith dot card. Now I want to swatch it. Yeah, I will yes. Though I have no idea where it is. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're like me. Yes. Okay. Well, this is uh, Western Orange. You know what? I almost want to do this. I almost just want to do this. Just get the pigment off on the dot card because I'm not having much luck. I'm just trying to get the pigment off. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Okay. You need to wait like two minutes to let it get into the paint. Well, yes. Well, I'm, that's why I'll go back to the other ones. Hey. I'll go back to the other ones again. <gasps> Desert green. Well, it's a patience thing as well, isn't it? You know, I'm not... Oh desert green oh my gosh that's so nice oh yes I like this one this one's nice the greens kind of there's there's like a Van Dyke brown and like a phthalo coming out of that one 
I wonder what the pigment is with that. And here we've got desert grey. Uh, Chrissy, get another piece of watercolour paper and try it with those paints. I'm suspicious of the swatch paper. All right, I shall. Just let me finish this one and I will. I will. Um, I didn't think I would have this much trouble on this paper. I think it could be the paper. I think you're right, Nanette. Because this is 640, it's very heavy. Um, uh, I'll just see if I can find one very. Oh, what am I doing? I've got one here. Okay, I've got Strathmore. I've got. Uh, I didn't. Okay, I think you could be right there. Okay, let's put, leave that aside just for the moment. Let's have a look here. Uh, this is the Strathmore uh, Strathmore watercolor paper. Uh, it's a well, you know, watercolor. I have been doing watercolor. <laughs> These are all watercolor, so I don't know, maybe. So let me see. I'm trying. Okay. All right, let's try here. Uh, let's try the tund uh, the tundra. That's much better, I think. Just goes to show the surface. Let us zoom in. Oh, shall I zoom in? How about if I zoom in a little bit? There we go. Okay, this is the Tundra, oh, sorry, Tundra Orange. Okay. Oh, I need you to see what I'm swatching. There we go. This is Tundra Rose. Put some water down. Silly me. Tundra Violet. Oh, sorry. Forgot. Water. Don't spread the pigment. Just place it in your water and let it, let its magic. Okay, wet into wet. Okay, all right. All right. Okay. Tundra blue. Oh, look, it's bleeding into the. I think it's a combination of inexperience and 
paper brush because all of the things that I'm using are all good quality so uh, I <laughs> blame the what is it blame the user oh gosh I forgot to do that uh, blame the user because <laughs> everything I've used here is good quality so artist quality there we go Michelle do the magic let it do the magic ah okay I'm gonna go back and swatch some of these other colors because I think I did it wrong oh here we go all right so that was tundra and I better write this down Tundra. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, water. Water. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> That's all right. I eventually, I, I eventually get it. Okay. Ah, oh, here we go. I think that's. Oh, yeah, okay, it's all happening. <laughs> it's all happening. <laughs> oh, gosh, well, that's a nice change. There you go, wet. Here we go. There we go. Okay, this is Glacier Turquoise. all right is it working it's they're beautiful um i just did not do it justice i'm going to grab the other ones although in some instances they've they've um dried and doing their thing so let's just leave that okay okay that was uh glacier turquoise Okay, this is not enough water, maybe. <gasps> That's nice. It's got like a violet around it. Oh, wow. That's nice. That's better. Okay, Glacier Brown. I know that they're running into each other, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Oh, well, wow. okay. And we've got Glacier Black. Oh, hang on. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh look, when oh, I'm just having a look at some of these ones that are drying, and really nice. See, it's the operator. Okay, well this is all right. Okay, I'm okay with this. Oh look, it's running into it, but that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. Let me go on the other side here. Let me just go on the other side of this. Oh, how are we going to do this? Hang on. There we go. 
Ooh. Sorry. All right. What have we got? Forest. Uh, I don't think I've got enough water on here. But I tell you what, watercolour does what it wants to do. There's no two, but just gorgeous. Oh. Come on, get that pigment off. They all granulate. I know, surprise, surprise. Hi, Jelena. <laughs> Welcome. I've been goofing around a little bit, so you'll have to excuse me. It's Well, goofing around is being not doing what I'm supposed to be doing with these. Like putting down a lot of water before I... Um, Uh, before I apply the pigment on the surface. Okay, forest blue. Oh. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. All right. Forest brown. It's green. It's green. It's not brown, but it says brown. But it's green. All right, next week I'm going to be doing gouache. Oh, this will be good. I don't know. We'll do gouache next week. A gouache project. Not a terribly big one. Here we go. You know what? They're drying now and I can see some gorgeous... Uh, textures uh, really lovely oh wow look at this one okay while we're waiting for that to dry I'm going to try the the first one the uh, the volcano because I don't think I did it justice so let me try it on this uh, let me try it on how about I do it like that there we go I don't know if you can see you there we go I'm gonna try this lot here again and see This yellow is a bit hard to pick up. I'm struggling picking up that pigment, so maybe um, I'm not going to. I'm not. Maybe I won't do that one. Uh. Vulcan violet. Yeah, it's granulating almost immediately on this paper. Oh, it's lovely. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go that orange. Better. Sorry I'm late. I, fe um, I fell asleep for a little bit, struggling. To oh, so sorry, Jelena. Well, you know. You've missed, um, you've missed, um, 
me um, swatching a little bit, but no. Well, you've missed the um, the learning curve. There we go. That's the word. All right. I'm just going to leave this for a minute, just for a minute, because I just I, I need I need you to see what's been happening. Okay, this is the deep sea, and I know I showed you, but even more so now. What's interesting is that there are uh, two colours, and once it starts to dry, you can see some granulate more than others. I suspect it would be maybe there's more, um, the pigment is more staining. Look, look, I, I don't profess to know, so please don't slam me. I, I'm only telling you what I see with what I've been doing, which is something, maybe. All right, so this is, uh, this one is Galaxy. Again, uh, some lovely colors. Uh, you have a set of those. Oh, what do you think of them? Or well, which ones, actually? Because there's a whole, there's a lot of different sets. Okay, I oh, look, it's probably me. But what's even better way to show you is the actual dot card. I think that's probably the best thing is the actual dot card. Okay, volcano. Oh, maybe I should just, what am I doing? I'll just um, zoom. Silly me. Let's just put that aside for a moment. And just let's zoom in on this. Okay, so maybe you maybe you meant to um, do it on the dot card rather than on the bit of paper because uh, I don't leave you much pigment. Okay, so um, volcano yellow. Look, it's okay. It's okay. It's probably I don't see much happening with that. Maybe. Uh, Vulcan red, maybe. Uh, volcano, sorry, volcano red. Volcano violet is really nice. Uh, for me, I like this. I'm talking about my preferences. Volcano brown is really nice. Uh, the galaxy pink, I can see that there's um, like fleshy tones coming through uh, with. Um, sort of like a it's like a fleshy with a, a like a maroon like a maroon coming through uh, galaxy violet I can see some uh, like lavenders and deep violets really good for shading I suspect uh, galaxy blue I can see um, so, uh, like maybe a, like a bit of a thalo thing going through with flecks of um, yeah that's what I see there galaxy brown or again a, f a fleshy tone but then um, there's this beautiful um, chocolate milk chocolate that's coming through uh, galaxy black um, oh, that would be really awesome for rock and I don't know lovely textures there oh I think uh, deep sea violet again there's this fleshy tone that's coming through I'm not quite sure what that pigment is um, and a bit of like a dioxazine purple it's coming through I don't really like the granulation but there is also a granulation medium which can use with watercolor you already have yeah yeah. Uh, deep sea indigo. I can see some lovely greens and violets coming through. Uh, deep sea blue. Um, yeah, not really fussed on that one so much. The deep sea green. You know that lovely aqua sea green. 
is coming through nice uh, deep sea black I can see uh, like a deep like a Payne's grey uh, and uh, a lighter grey coming through the Shire yellow yeah, I'm not in, I don't know what about the yellows what's going on with the yellows for me um, I think along here I actually like the the Shire blue is the one that I like there's green and blue I like that and I uh, this one is like a like a green gold for me coming through the Shire green very very nice uh, desert yellow again the yellows why is the, uh, I may have to put uh, probably because it's transparent hello baby uh, yeah volcano yellow transparent uh, the Shire yellow transparent that's why it's all right the penny just drops it really does drop <laughs> the uh, the desert orange I can see uh, almost like a red brick and uh, a mustard color coming through that's really really nice the desert brown it's almost like a rust rusty color very very nice all of these all of them have got texture all of them not one doesn't have not texture uh, the desert green I really like sort of like a, a red brick maroon with a uh, a lovely green coming through that's really really nice for foliage wow that's so nice I also like desert grey really nice sort of like there's a gold coming through like a gold color uh, and a like a dirty green color coming through there that desert grey uh, okay tundra tundra orange um, you know there are some which are could be similar which if I was to pick say half a dozen you know I'd have a look at ones which were extremely different to each other like if if you're getting something similar like for example tundra orange where there's none really like it but in those in that hue you know what I mean you could maybe pick one because then you can I'm sure you can blend tundra pink well especially like with tundra pink there's some some which like galaxy rose although they are different uh, there's violet going through tundra rose whereas this one is uh, more on the flesh sorry more on the flesh color in comparison to the tundra rose hang on there we go get it all in okay okay <laughs> oh well that's good I no longer have the desire to buy okay I'm yawning a lot so we'll say good night to you all okay <laughs> okay cherry <laughs> good night my dear I know it's late in the UK it's like 12 o'clock or midnight or something like that but yes all right okay so we're up to here glacier blue uh, I can see like a, a lovely turquoise coming through in that one glacier turquoise yeah nothing much really it's not really doing much for me um, the glacier green not too bad um, I actually actually know when I look at it now uh, there's a, a grey and a turquoise uh, coming through which I like um, not fussed with glacier brown yeah probably good for um, trees I would say uh, glacier black oh it's got lovely these uh, like a Payne's grey maybe a, a, a blue coming through like a black blue blue black okay uh, again that's sort of semi what is it uh, semi opaque and these are the differences so you've got to have a look at what's transparent what's opaque what you want I suppose these were would be really good for layering uh, definitely um, and of course forest olive I'm liking that forest green actually I like all of these ones the forest colors uh, particularly forest gray really love that okay so if I'm talking it the results are better on the dot card than I did manage to get on my paper sadly uh, but 
if I can show you now what's happening, each one of these are granulating beautifully. So for those who are really into granulation and lovely um, textures and stuff like that, something worthwhile. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so that's the dot card. Maybe the dot card that I got doesn't have that much pigment on there, but could you imagine how much? Well, they want to make you go out and buy the bloody tube, don't they? And available in pans and available in tubes. So, <clears throat> and I know that they're available in half pans, full pans, um, the, the small and the large and the larger um, well this one's 15 mil 15 mil it's not much to small ones so I think um, I think I will leave it there <laughs> Jeez, I'm gonna wait I'm gonna take another photo of it when it's when they're all completely dry and do some really nice close-ups to show you because I think on the live stream you really can't tell exactly what these are so thank you all for being patient with me thank you all for um, helping me through these um, well next week I will then okay seeing that you've asked for a gouache project I'm going to do a gouache, gouache project okay I'll do that Chrissy comes on next week with a full oh actually um, uh, no I won't be able to I'm, I'm not going to see you next week because um, I have a workshop that I'm going to attend so uh, let me see I might do it maybe on a Friday night which is Aussie time and probably in the morning maybe Friday mornings I think um, really early uh, in the UK and Europe it'll probably be your lunch hour Jelena I think but yes, look, thank you all, for all so much for being so patient with me. I'm still excited. And I'll probably get one or two of these tubes because I like them. I like them. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Um, and I'll see you all next week.